Lodum Dare is scary. It's the biggest game jam I know. This time it had over 10,000 signups and little shy of 5,000 finished games in just 72 hours. A lot of people that joined were preparing weeks ahead of this jam. They have years of experience and a lot of them have proper teams. And then there is me. I switched to game engines and basically I had no time during the weekend. But one thing I had this time was a team. I joined forces with my friend who recently started learning Blender. The team was announced at 3am in the morning where I live, so I started once again late. The team was keep it alive. We called and discussed different ideas that came onto our minds and ended up on the one that my friend proposed. You play as Ice Cube trying to avoid the sun. All levels will be in different rooms in the flat. We added coins to discover and timer to add a little bit of the challenge. Big mistake was that we didn't think this through, but we will get to that later. After a bit of research, we started working. I started with a third person template from Unreal. It has basic movement implemented, so let's work for me. I switched the character with the basic cube and started thinking about the main mechanic, the sun. First, I wasted time with static era where it would damage the player. But then I thought of this. I created lines starting in the middle of the cube in the direction of the sun. If this line hits anything, I know the cube is in the shade. If not, it's standing in the direct sunlight and should start melting. This is the in-game version with lines visualized. With the main mechanic done, I started working on the life system. So when you melt the first time, you still have two more tries. It was pretty late when my friend sent me the player model with some basic animations. Uh, it's basically the first time I tried the animation system in Unreal. And to be honest, I was a bit lost. So I called it a day. I started this day by looking up some tutorials on uh, how to get the animations working. After some time we had working animated ice cube in the game. Everything was going smoothly to this point. Now our poor planning hit us in the face. And it was a big one. We both ended up pretty much giving up. So what caused this? The level design. There was basically no way we could make this playable. Either there was a shadow almost everywhere indoors or the opposite. You couldn't survive even with sun cover. We tried to make it into 2D, but that didn't work very well. We felt devastated. But we didn't want to give up on Ladum Dare, so we started another project. And then we started another one. Both of these sucked compared to our first ideas, so we gave up on them also. I didn't want to give up on the game, so I decided to continue it. But it was Monday and I worked full time as a PHP developer, so I had only time after 5 pm. My friend unfortunately lost his motivation and stopped working on the game. We had two rooms out of four planned. Me and my girlfriend went to the nearest forest, which is like one hour from our place. We recently moved here and wanted to explore the environment around us. We were stuck here because of the quarantine and it was nice ways for us to recharge. I kept thinking about ways to fix our game and came up with this idea. We give player ability to control the light. I made a simple level and tested if it could work. And it did. This pretty simple change saved the whole game. Some of the reviews even explicitly said that they liked this mechanic. Still. It's the last hours of the jam and I had almost nothing done. There were no levels, no sound, no textures, no tutorial, no menu, no level. I went all out. I made a hallway that works as level select, save game functionality and then I started working on designing the levels. I used assets that my friend made combined with the assets from Kenny's furniture pack that I will link below. It was time to improve UI. And my girlfriend, this one, happens to be really talented in drawing. This was my attempt and this is hers. You can comment which one is better down below. After a bit of time, 
we had it working in the game. 17 minutes before deadline and I was finishing up the page and clicked the satisfying submit button. It was 3am and I had to start working at night, so I went to bed. In the morning I had to push an update because the game was broken on other PCs, but luckily it was a quick fix. And that's it, the game is done. You can download it from the link in the description and make sure to leave me a feedback on the London Direct website. The jam was pretty stressful for me, but at the end I'm glad that I didn't give up. The game already has some positive reviews and great feedback, which makes it that much better. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Bye!